my name is Anna White. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this table using a few basic carpentry skills and off the shelf lumber. For those of you that follow along, you know I built this bench a couple weeks ago and I needed a table to go inside the banquet bench, but I didn't want a table with a leg at the corner because it would be really hard to move around the table. So I built this X table. Now I've built a lot of X tables in the past, but over the last 15 years, I can't believe I haven't done a video. So this week I decided to actually video the process and share it with you. I've included free plans. The link is in the description. The plans have detailed diagrams and a detailed shopping list and cut list. You'll just follow the cut list and make all of your cuts. Notice my 1x6 boards for the tabletop have square edges. You can achieve this by ripping them on the table saw. This is outlined in the plans. I'm going to join the tabletop boards together with a pocket hole jig. I'm using a Craig jig with the 3 quarter inch setting and then one and a quarter inch screws to attach all of the 1x6 boards together. Notice that I clamp every single joint and just work outward. Once all the tabletop boards were joined, I just added aprons. In the plans, I call for a 1x3. I think this makes a better product. Now for the table base. I'm using 2x4s. I ripped the edges so the 2x4 ended up being 3 inches wide. Notice these are the softwood 2x4s. They're really easy to work with. Then I just followed the cut list for the cross cuts. For the legs, you simply make four of these angled supports with the bottoms attached using two inch brad nails. And then you flip them over and they sandwich together to make the X. And then you just fill in the top piece. It was really, really simple to make these. This method also allows you to be very accurate and get very professional looking X. Now measure and cut the top pieces this will be what's attached to the underside of the tabletop and attach that. I recommend attaching the top piece with screws. Now we can just add the tabletop back into the mix and then set the legs in, set them where you want them and attach them with screws. For the support that ties the legs together, I just found the center of the two supports measured and used pocket holes to attach it in place. For the finish, I sanded it with 120 grit sandpaper in the direction of the wood grain. Then I removed all the sanding residue and applied a watered down white paint to give it just a slight white toning. After that, I added several coats of water-based poly. Well, I'm very glad that we're able to provide these plans for free. That link is in the description. If you're interested in other variations of this table, for example, uh, different angles to the X, wider, narrower, or even thinking about doing a round X table, please leave a comment so we know what you're thinking. Thank you.